Good evening. You're watching the news from the Sultanate of Oman television. First, the headlines. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos issues Royal Decree Number 47 over 2015, appointing members of the State Council. Electronic blackmail and detecting security flaws are discussed at OSERT's Second Ambassador's Gathering. And Al Ata gathering is held in the wilaya of Daba to exchange experiences and find support ways for small and medium enterprises. Those were the headlines. Now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has issued Royal Decree Number 47 over 2015, appointing members of the State Council. Article 1 appoints those whose names are in the attached list as members of the State Council. Article 2, this decree shall be published in the official gazette and shall come into effect from the date of its issue. This is a list of names of State Council members. Mohammed bin Ali bin Nasser al Alawi, Sayed Hamad bin Hilal bin Saud al Busaidi, Dr. Suad bin Mohammed bin Ali Suleiman al Lawatiya, Dr. Muna bin Abdullah bin Saleh al Jardania, Neda bin ha Hassan bin Mohammed al Jamali al Bahrania, Engineer Rahma bin Hamad bin Mohammed al Masharafia, Sheikh Abdullah bin Shuwain bin Amr al Hosni, Naif bin Obeid bin Musa al Salami, Said bin Nasser bin Juma al Maskeri, Salem bin Ismail bin Suwaid, Abdul Kader Salem bin Abdullah al Dabab, Zahir bin Abdullah bin Mohammed al Abri, Dr. Saleh bin Salem bin Mohammed al Busaidi, Mohammed bin Hamad bin Salem al Masruri, Sheikh Ahmed bin Nasser bin Humaid al Nuami, Dr. Ahmed bin Ali bin Mohammed al Meshaiki, Dr. Sheikh Ali Khattab bin Ghalib bin Ali al Hinai, Mahmoud bin Ali bin Abdul Latif, Dr. Bakhit bin Ahmed bin Suhail bin Mlaid al Mahri, Dr. Rashid bin Abdullah bin Masud al Yahia, Ahmed bin Mafduh bin Saleh al Saleh, Musalam bin Ali bin Mohammed al Mashani, Sheikh Hamad bin Mohammed bin Abdullah Bahwan al Mukheni, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah bin Ali al Khalili, Sheikh Said bin Nasser bin Said al Siabi, Sheikh Mohammed bin Nasser al Fana al Araimi, Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah bin Hamad al Harthi, Sheikh Saud bin Abdullah bin Rashid al Mahmari, Sheikh Khaled bin Saif bin Nasser al Ghafri, Sheikh Khalfan bin Hamis bin Khais al Hashmi, Sheikh Ahmed bin Khalfan bin Ahmed al Gufaili, Sheikh Salem bin Abdullah bin Salem bin Diain al Kabi, Khaled bin Hamad bin Saif al Busaidi, Khamis bin Said bin Saif al Suhaimi, Dr. Ahmed bin Salem bin Ali Rafait, Sheikh Tabet bin Hamad bin Sultan al Majali, Said Dr. Said bin Sultan bin Hamud al Busaidi, Dr. Hassan bin Ali bin Mohammed al Madani, Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed bin Ali al Rawas, Abdullah bin Said bin Nasser al Saifi, Sheikh Mohammed bin Said bin Rashid al Balushi, Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Salmin al Shamsi, Ahmed bin Yusuf bin Obaid al Harthi, Engineer Majid bin Said bin Salem al Rawahi, Ahmed bin Suleiman bin Saleh al Maimani, Engineer Khalfan bin Saleh bin Nasser al Nabi, Sheikh Said bin Ali bin Nafl al Mashali, Dr. Ishaq bin Ahmed bin Mohammed al Rukeshi, Said Hilal bin Musalam bin Ali al Busaidi, Sheikh Abdullah bin Saif bin Hilal al Maruki, Dr. Ibrahim bin Ahmed bin Said al Kindi, Alawi bin Ahmed bin Alawi al-Haddad, 
Salem bin Mohammed bin Masud al-Riyami, Sayyid bin Ali bin Salem al-Kalbani, Nu bin Sabil bin Aisa al-Balushi, Hamad bin Salem bin Hamad al-Janaibi, Yahya bin Rashid bin Rashid al-Juma, Rashid bin Saif bin Mohsen al-Shedi, Omar bin Salem bin Ahmed al-Marhun, Malfud bin Hamud bin Mohammed al-Wanaibi, Saif bin Ali bin Shaykha al-Amri, Nasser bin Rashid bin Hamad al-Bakhri, Aisa bin Sayyid bin Suleiman al-Kiwumi, Dr. Wafa bin Salem bin Ali al-Harasiya, Mohammed bin Salem bin Mohsen Kawas al-Kateri, Mohammed bin Sayyid bin Nasser al-Rumhi, Nasser bin Sayyid bin Nasser al-Hadabi, Dr. Muna bin Ham Ahmed bin Ali al-Sadun, Dr. Badria bin Ibrahim bin Khalfan al-Sheikha, Dr. Zahur bin Abdullah bin Salem al-Kanjariya, Dr. Nabhan bin Saif bin Salem al-Lamki, Dr. Abdullah bin Mubarak bin Salem al-Shamfari, Dr. Saeed bin Mubarak bin Saeed al-Makhremi, Dr. Aisha bin Ahmed bin Yusuf al-Washia, Dr. Hamad bin Suleiman bin Salem al-Salmi, Dr. Ismail bin Saleh bin Hamdan al-Akbari, Ahmed bin Abu Bakr al-Zubaydi, Sabah bin Mohammed bin Habud al-Bakhlaniya, Maryam bin Aisa bin Mohammed al-Zajaliya, Lujaina bin Mohsen bin Haider Darwish al-Zabaiya, Salam bin Saeed bin Salem al-Shaksi, Saleh bin Mohammed bin Taleb al-Zakwani, Hatem bin Hamad bin Aisa Atai, and Sheikh Ahmed bin Rashid bin Hamdan al-Mamari. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said has sent a cable of greetings to King Nordum Sihoni of the Kingdom of Cambodia on the occasion of his country's National Day. Electronic blackmail and hacking into accounts to gain money topped the discussions of Ossert's second ambassador's gathering. The gathering revealed that National Center for Information Safety detects security flaws during 48 hours for 38,000 attempts. The gathering provided also the program of Ossert ambassadors which concern culture and security knowledge. On the sideline of the gathering, a competition was held on the detecting electronic security flaws. Marine force and civilizational role of Yarubi state topped the aspects discussed by the seminar of scientific movement in Yaruba era. The seminar, which came to celebrate Niswa, the capital of Islamic culture 2015, was presided over by His Excellency Sheikh Mohammed bin Saeed Al Kalbani, Minister of Social Development. The seminar also discussed aspects of urbanization movement and political system, production and scientific curriculum, and the women's role in Yaruba area, in addition to artistic structure, lectures, commitments, and speeches on the era. Still to come in our news bulletin, the initial tests of the first Omani made electrical car called Hermes ended successfully. Sultanate speech in UNESCO carried many meanings in unifying the world through working together to achieve the noble directives. The speech, was, which was presented in the French capital Paris, 
also stressed the necessity of exchanging knowledge and experiences to develop human skills in the fields of education, culture, science and communication. The Sultanate speech focused on forgiveness, the importance of preserving the culture as well as the environment. To acquaint with the latest produced by international aviation companies of jet fighters, His Excellency Said Badr bin Saud bin Hareb Al Busaidi, Minister Responsible for Defense Affairs, participated this morning in the opening of the 15th Dubai Aviation Exhibition. His Excellency watched part of aerial displays that accompanied the opening, then toured wings and sections of the exhibit hall. He also got acquainted with transport and civilian planes, as well as air military equipment, as well as systems of various types. To benefit from experiences available with both sides and to exchange visits in agricultural fields, His Excellency Dr. Fuad bin Jafar bin Mohammed Asajwani, Minister of Agriculture and Fisheries Wealth, discussed with His Excellency Dr. Ahmed Abdul Salam Hassan Maljani, Chairman of Board of Directors of Palestinian Retirement Authority, who is on, the vi on visit in the Sultanate. View of Omani experience in social insurance and the steps made by the Sultanate in organizing mechanisms of the works of social insurance and retirement authorities were discussed at the meeting of His Excellency Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser al-Bakri, Minister of Manpower and Chairman of Board of Directors of Public Authority for Social Insurance with His Excellency Dr. Ahmed Abdul Salam Hassan Majani, Member of Executive Committee of Palestine Liberation Organization organization and chairman of board of directors of Palestinian Retirement Authority. A session of talks was held between the two sides in the premises of public authority for social insurance during which they viewed the role of social insurance departments. The Palestinian side praised that had been achieved by the Sultanate in this regard and a memorandum of understanding was signed to benefit from the Omani experiences in numerous fields and training of a number of employees to benefit from the accumulated experiences at the Public Authority for Social Insurance. Muscat's, Muscat Securities mar Market urging listed companies to issue their financial markets to club market ambiguity. Here's a report by Saida Tabina Bukhari. MSM 30 index closed today at 5.9 points, recording a decrease of 3.2 points, representing 0.05% compared with the last trading session. The value traded securities today reached 2.26 million real Omani with a decrease of 24.85% compared with the last trading session, which recorded Real Omani 3 million. The market capitalization decreased by 0.04% against last trading day, reaching around 14.72 billion. It is worth mentioning that the value of shares bought by non Omani investors reached 322,000, recording 14.27%. The value of shares sold by non Omani investors reached 132,000 Real Omani at a percentage of 45.7%. The net foreign investment on the market decreased to 710,000 Real Omani by 31.43%. Many notably strong listed companies have yet to release their financial results. The investors are waiting and the markets are affected. Companies such as Omantel have yet to release their third qu quarter financial results in order to curb some of the ambiguity and distress in the market. Moreover, continuously dropping oil prices and the poor performance of global markets is affecting the downward trend of the MSM market index. Sayyidah Tabinda Bukhari reporting from Muscat Securities Market. The initial tests of the first Omani-made electrical car ended successfully. The car, which was called Hermes, was made by Nurmajan Company that got all clearances to establish the first car factory in the Sultanate. Making this car started in 2008 through conducting a number of studies on electrical cars. The car, which was designed to work in the Gulf hot weather, was made by carbon fiber and its weight is more than 1,000 kilograms 
and 10 minutes electrical charging is enough to pass 600 kilometers. It is also provided with a device similar to the black box that records all car conditions. Connecting students with scientific reality and providing the educational environment which enabled them from applying simulation of some occupations topped the aims of the science forum in the Wilaya of Bala. The forum gave opportunities for both male and female students to get acquainted with the mechanism of scientific research and develop innovation means. A lot of gathering was held in the Wilaya of Daba in the Governorate of Musandam. The gathering aimed to exchange experiences and find support ways for small and medium enterprises. It contributed to strengthening the partnership between government and private institutions. The event, which focused on the role of government and private institutions, was associated with the exhibition of SME products. Heavy rain fell in the Niaba of Hasek of the Wilaya of Sada in the governorate of Dofar, causing some wadis and water flows, waterfalls to overflow. Moderate rain also fell in parts of the city as Sada has an indirect influence of Cyclone Meg on the governorate of Dofar. The Multi-Hazards Early Warning Center issued its fourth statement on the tropical Cyclone Meg mentioning that it will not have any direct effect on the coasts of the Sultanate, saying that its course will not be near to the Sultanate's coasts. It will move towards west and southwest towards the Gulf of Aden. It is expected that the northeasterly winds will be active on the southeastern coast, which will cause high waves from 3 to 5 meters. This is the Sultanate of Oman television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos issues Royal Decree Number 47 over 2015, appointing members of the State Council. Electronic blackmail and detecting security flaws are discussed at OSERT's Second Ambassador's Gathering. And Alata Gathering is held in the Wilaya of Daba to exchange experiences and find support ways for small and medium enterprises. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, it's good night.